cracking the flex pitch mystery. If you have don't know what flex pitch is, or you don't know how to use flex pitch, then that's perfect because I'm going to go over everything in detail with a vocal I have, and we're gonna put it in tune using flex pitch in Logic. So flex pitch is a Logic thing, so you have to have Logic to use flex pitch. It's kind of like mm, Melodyne in a way, but um, it's actually within Logic, so you don't have to get it by another service. If you prefer another, you can use Autotune or you can use Melodyne. There's lots of other tuning services. The one in Logic, it just has to come within the DAW. It's called Flex Pitch. So we have a lead vocal, right? Uh, this is a comp I did. You can see there's many different regions here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just bounce this to have like one big track region. And that's just gonna make things easier. Bounce, bounce track in place. And I'm gonna do overload per, um, off. And I'm going to yeah I'll bypass the effects right now and I'll put it on a new track. And now we can go into this one and put this vocal in tune. Now there's a couple ways to get to flex pitch. You can see up at the top here, there's just like this DNA kind of icon. You can press that and that's gonna put flex pitch or flex time on every single track. You can see here it's generated this kind of thing. I don't wanna do that. I wanna open up the editor by pressing E. And now I'm here within the editor and can see the, the lead vocal track that we just bounced. And then I'm gonna press the DNA symbol within here. And you can see flex time monophonic. Let's go to flex pitch and it's gonna have this view. Sometimes you have to click it again. There's supposed to be little MIDI boxes that come up here. I don't know why that doesn't come up all the time. So I have to just re-click this DNA symbol. And now you can see these notes have come up. And this is our vocal. This is what flex pitch is. This is what it looks like. Here's our vocal signal like that, the shaded area behind. These MIDI notes here are the same concept as these MIDI notes in uh, your flex pitch here, your vocal. It's just your vocal instead of the piano. So that's something you, you need to know. Now let's get into actually using flex, flex pitch. So a bit of conceptual stuff off the, off the top. Let's go through each of the dots on a MIDI note. If you have, hover over a MIDI note, like these things here, you're gonna get three dots on top and three dots on the bottom. Every little blue thing has it. So the first dot, it doesn't really matter what one we go over, so let's just go over this big one here. The first dot here is pitch drift, fine pitch, pitch drift again, formant shift, vibrato, and gain. The bread and butter of flex pitch is taking the MIDI notes and just putting them on the right tone. For example, this over here is a C note. And that note here, what I'm singing, is a C. And you can see it's perfectly like all blue here, right? So it's pretty much this note here that I sung is all in time. This note here, you see how there's like some blue, I'm just gonna zoom in. You see how there's some blue on the top half of the MIDI note, but then there's this little square and it hasn't been grayed in. That means the MIDI note is thinking it's a bit of C, but a bit of C sharp. So I need to put this actually in, in, in the right key. And so this is what fine pitch is. You can, you see how it says negative 44? If you bring it up to zero, that means it's going to be like really pushing that note to where it's supposed to be. So let's go and hold this and push it up. And now it's in C, or sorry, C sharp. Um, yeah, sorry, this was in C sharp, not C. And you can see by hovering over and clicking, it's C sharp, C sharp. This one's A sharp. You don't have to have everything on the grid, essentially, all in blue. That's gonna take, that's gonna really dehumanize your vocal. So let's take a listen to these three lines here and have a listen to, do we wanna put anything in tune? Do we wanna change some of the vibrato, some of the pitch shift, the timing, and the, the gain as well? And then we can use flex pitch to do that. I don't know how to face it. I thought I had it all planned. I've been losing you. This is dry, there's nothing There's nothing on this. Um, all the plugins are turned off. I did compress it on the way in, so it does sound a bit um, more level. There's a line in here, you can see, I want I want to put this a bit more in tune, this part here. I'll show you what it sounds like. I thought I had it all planned. I thought. I thought I had it all It's a bit flat, so I want to bring that one up. And I want to bring the first eye up a bit, just because I want it just to be a bit more, um, yeah, perfect there. I don't know how to fake I. So I'm just gonna bring this one up like we did, actually, as the example. 
and let's let's have a listen to see what that sounds like. It's not perfect yet. I didn't go to zero, but sometimes, yeah, I want it just to be a bit more human. I don't know how to face it. And maybe it, bringing that down. I don't know how to face it. So all I'm doing here is using the middle dots. I'm using these fine pitch dots to move the things back to zero, like we were discussing. I don't know how to face it. Let's go over to this one and just do the same thing. Just focusing on the pitch drift. I thought I had it all planned. Let's move these ones up. I thought I had it all planned. You can hear that. It's kind of doing a bit of auto tune there a little bit. I thought I had it all planned. Maybe planned. I thought I had it all planned. When I've seen the end of planned, it's going up. Planned. That's what drifting is. And you can drift up to notes and you can drift down to notes. And so in flex pitch, you can, if I take this note and increase it, you can see the, the vocal signal here, this line. This is what I'm doing to it. So let's just, this is gonna sound outrageous. Planned. Uh. It's just really drifting the note at the end. So sometimes if you want a little, you didn't maybe drift enough in your vocal performance, you can push that a bit, or you didn't drift down like planned. You can help that drift down if you want. So it's at the end of the notes, you can drift them up at the beginning of the notes, sorry, or you can drift them down. And um, sometimes you don't drift at all, right? You sing very straight. But you can see here, there's a drift coming down. I'm singing straight. There's a bit of a drift coming up here. This white line can be your kind of map for what the drifts look like. So this is actually just how I sung the notes here. And I didn't, you know, that's that's actually just a natural drift in my voice, sing, singing these. It all planned. It all, it all planned. You know, you can, you can hear that. It all planned. So that's what the top three notes are. We have pitch drift at the beginning of the note and pitch drift at the end of the note. And then we have fine pitch um, at the beginning. And this is yeah, what we've done. So we've gone over that. Let's do that again just to this line so we can put that in practice. I've been losing you. You. I might put that a bit more in time. So fine pitch dragging up. You. Lower three dots would be vibrato in the middle. On the end, we have formant. And on the left, we have gain. I'm not really ever changing the formant. So let's start with formant from bottom uh, right. Formant is actually changing what I like, just the texture of the voice. Let's focus on this little note. If I increase the formant. I've been losing you. Didn't change the note. It's going to actually sing the texture of that note, but keep it in the same note. If you, if you, that doesn't really make sense. But have a listen, and you'll see what I mean. I've been losing you. I've been losing you. So it can be a nice feature here or there if you want to change the texture of your of your voice. For in my case, in the music I like to make, I'm rarely ever shifting the formant. And if I wanted to shift the formant. I would ra rarely ever do it on one note, but I might do it on the entire track, and then, and then I would use a different plugin. And you can also shift down too. I've been losing you. So it can be a cool effect, right? I've been losing you. Like that sounds cool because it's in key, it's just changing the texture a bit. Now let's go over the vibrato. And this is how squiggly the line is. This is my natural vibrato of the line, your voice is shaking a little bit and you can actually purposely do vibrato as an effect to sound cool on your voice. Let's just look at this note again. I've been losing if I increase the vibrato, you can, you can see it's making it more squiggly, right? Let's go crazy. I've been losing you. That's, that's what vibrato is. Du -du 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 -du. I've been losing if I want maybe a little bit more. I've been losing you. you know, maybe I like that. I've been losing you. Or maybe I'm like, ooh, I sung too much of a broader. Can we fix it a bit? Can we bring it down? Can we make it really flat? I've been losing you. Then that's what that would sound like. I personally like vibrato sometimes because I think it sounds cool, but sometimes in certain areas you don't want a vibrato because maybe it's taking away from something else. So you can come in here and bring it down. Here I can do that to see what that sounds like. Losing you. But I, I like a bit of vibrato there. You. That's personally, my, my taste is uh, I'm a pro vibrato person. The bottom left is gain. And this is just as any gain plugin. It's also the same in the region here, um, this gain here. But in flex pitch, you can gain the actual the audio signal of that note only. 
So for example, this note, if I press it and push it up, you can see it's only pushing this part of the vocal signal. So only the word losing, or at least the first lose, that first part of the word, I've been losing you. or I've been losing, if you want that a bit more present, you can increase the gain. Obviously, I don't think you would do something like this, but you might, maybe you want the I. I've been maybe you maybe you sung something, or the S at an end, uh, the end of a word, or an ED that you didn't pronounce. You would go in here and increase the gain, or maybe you sung it too loud, you'd go in and decrease the gain on a word. And that's actually a really handy tool if you're doing, if you want to do um, gain staging on your vocal after you sing it, you want to kind of make sure everything is sounding like it was one take, and you can do that in flex pitch. It's really, it's a, a valuable tool. Those are the dots you need to know. Let's put some things into practice, but that's what it is. If you want to stop watching the video here, you can go and do it on your own. There are some things I didn't discuss, like, you know, there's a bit of, sh there's shortcuts here and there. You can cut things like I did before. You can click and, dr you know, drag notes up completely like this. Uh, there is an option just to select everything, like Command A, and I believe just to put everything in time. Yeah, set to, I just did uh, Command A, and then I did right click, set to original pitch, set to perfect pitch. So if I do that, all the notes are now perfectly blue. It's gonna be kind of like auto-tune. The more you change stuff, the, the, you have the more, I guess you can say you have more of a potential to make it sound bad or less human. Everyone uses Melodyne, Flex Pitch, Auto-Tune, so you do, it is helpful to go in there and do some tuning to make things really perfect. But I gotta come to grips with. Like, that doesn't sound good to me. I set that to perfect pitch. But I gotta come to grips with. It just, it sounds too fake to me, so I'm gonna undo that. But I gotta come to grips with. Grips maybe a bit up. No grips with. I gotta come to grips with. With. Gotta come to grips with. With. Grips with. With. Grips with. Cool. Take matter in my own head. Ooh, see that's out of tune. Take matter in my own head. Matter. Take matter in my own. Take matter in my own hand. Hands. Take matter in my own. Hand. And you can cut it, and then have the flexibility to change the formant and the fine pitch for that same note, but in two different places. So that's, you can cut one note and then you can see it's, it's just by cutting this note, it brought it down here. Take matter in my own hands. Take that, da, 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 you know, I was saying take matter in my own hands. Keep in mind, I'm also going to be using auto tune on this. So I just go in here or there fixing little things focusing on the gain maybe and the fine pitch here and there, then I actually add an auto-tune to smooth everything out. And that's where I actually think things come to life. I very rarely am really hard tuning things because I just think like the Antares auto-tune or maybe another auto-tune plugin really does a better job at actually smoothing this out. Flex pitch is great for this kind of thing, but why not leave it up to another company like Antares or there's another Waze auto-tune, and sometimes they're better than flex pitch in my opinion, just because Logic like is a pro DAW, but it's not like a pro auto-tune plugin, if you know what I mean. These other auto pro auto-tune plugins only focus on auto-tune and making perfect auto-tune. Flex pitch is just kind of like an added bonus to Logic that is great for just shifting things here or there to clean things up. But I gotta come to grips with Take matter in my own hands. It's not so bad. Damn, it hurts when. Damn, right? Damn, it hurts. That word, damn. Damn, it hurts when it's true. Actually, my ear. Sometimes your ear plays plays tricks on you too. In my own hands. Damn, it hurts when. It could be tuned a bit more. Damn. And it's true. Damn, it hurts. Just down a bit. Damn, it hurts when it's true. I want. Da -na -na -na. I want, want that to be a bit more straight. Da, 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 da. Damn it hurts when Damn it hurts when it's true Damn it hurts when it's true But it's no excuse that I run for the hills See lots of a brat on this one Hills Change, Take that down a bit if I wanted to There's a lot of things on the left here I didn't even talk about You can use quantization 
just like we did with MIDI, I can Command A and um, gain everything up. That's crazy. Let's go back down. I can quantize, but I would rarely ever quantize like a vocal with um, in the editor here. I would always do it like I said. I've said in other videos with an editor. Like I come up here and I shift to actual the things here. Or let me know if you have any questions about flex pitch or Logic Music Production, whatever, in the comments. I'll get to you as soon as possible, and I'll see you in the next video.